Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So today we will start with, with some uh, good news, bad news. The bad news is that um, I didn't have a chance to get to the game during the day, so it's already quite late, I'm, I'm pretty tired. This is probably gonna be again a shorter episode, around 30 minutes, but um, well, because it's late, the good news is that there shouldn't be any background noise, so hey, that's great. Um, and one more thing, uh, thank you for the recommendations in comments. The last one was about, uh, I don't remember the name, but the mod that allows me to speed up different things in the game. I don't think I want to use it now, but later definitely for some of the larger annoying battles, like large groups of zombies, I will test it out. Uh, last time I was talking about the, the caravan, that it felt like it's going slower, but it wasn't in a way that I was like complaining it's going too slow. Uh, it was more about that. It seemed to me that when I used the camping option during the caravan, um, it felt like that camping slowed the caravan down. And I was just curious if it was just my feeling or if it was really a thing. It wasn't really a complaint. But um, uh, I'm glad that it led to the recommendation for the mod. I actually didn't know it existed. And for a late game or... Not real late game. It's more like, honestly, the early mid game when I'm thinking about it. When you st or when we still don't have the options to fight some of the more interesting stuff, but we have to grind through the large groups of zombies, as I said, things like that. Then it would be nice to speed things up. So yeah, as I said, I will check it out. Um, Okay, so that's that, and now let's focus on the game. So last time we arrived to. What's the name? Koppeldorf, I guess. Yeah, Koppeldorf. Uh, and found the contract. Actually, we recruited the seventh guy who is going to be a throwaway, unfortunately. It's not a guy, it's a girl. But um, yeah, with 24 resolve and superstitious, we just can't keep her. Um, so that's a throwaway character. And because of that, I started thinking about a contract that we haven't done yet, attacking some brigands in their camp. And I'm thinking that this could be a good uh, good um, like content, I'll say, for today. Uh, to try this for the first time, if we are, if we can even think about this contract at this point, or if it's still too much, we will be facing thugs. It's weird thinking about, like, can we handle thugs when you, like, compare it to how weak thugs are in the base game. But here, it's a pretty significant step up compared to the rebel. So we can dedicate this episode to a little bit of a test, see how this works. Uh, I think we should be fine, but but um, this could be the, the case where my lack of experience and therefore me being impossible to really like just uh, judge the difficulty could lead to a reload, which I hate doing. But yeah, sometimes it's the only way how I can uh, really learn and uh, figure things out. Though I will do anything I can to, to not do it. So let's accept. I really hope that having the option to use someone as uh, basically a sponge that we move her forward and she's gonna just take some damage for us while we are while we are uh, killing stuff is gonna make this uh, make this doable. Okay, how are we doing? Hit points wise, repairs, things like that. Oh, also we have a level up. Maybe that's a good thing to start with. Oh, actually, oh, I forgot. I knew that there was something that I wanted to check before this episode. I wanted to decide on Kolata how we gonna how we gonna build this. Well, we are definitely doing that and that. I think I will drop the defense. Can I do it? Or I can be just flexible with the third stat. What if I just forget about this and this and just do just do stamina? Our survivability is in hit points, honestly. And armor. Like the most basic defense. And there then we could do 
Build initiative. Base is still worse than fatigue. Then we will see. Yeah, let's just pick up these three. And we'll be done with it. And next, then, we have to pick up uh, Colossus. Okay. Now, we want to set up a camp. Maybe I should have done that before accepting the contract. Let me check. This is salvaging, so you want to salvage that, 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 that. Oh, there was a... It probably wasn't a previous episode, but recently someone commented under one of the episodes that I keep buying items from raided cities. Raided... The fact that the cities are raided is increasing the cost of goods basically anywhere in the city. But... Um, what's important for me is... Like the the number that I see, if it's inflated by the debuff of the city being raided, and if the city wasn't raided, and the, in that case the item would be cheaper, I mean, it's true, but I need the item, and it's a price that I'm willing to pay, so... I don't really care if the city is raided or has marauding green skins or whatever, I just see an item for acceptable price that I need, I buy it. At this point, I'm not really thinking about anything else. Okay, set up a camp. Full a bed, salvaging we don't really care for. Time to get moving, how or where are we going? Exactly north, okay, good. Can you make it before the night? Yeah, easily. For some reason, when I said, can we do it, do it before the night, uh, I thought that it was already evening. Uh, yeah, we don't see inside of the, of the ruin. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, you guys should be fine with your injuries. The positioning like this is probably okay. We will have to adjust anyway when we see what we are up against. And now I'm really scared that we're gonna see raiders. Or even the like one raider. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is not bad. Two slings. Three slings. One bow. So we don't really have to worry about the range damage too much. This guy is gonna be a pain in the ass. So like he actually the, these three guys are going to be a pain in the ass. These two are the worst. This one doesn't have a helmet, so with a little bit of luck, we could maybe hit him and um, do a lot of damage. But yeah, you can see that the thugs have um, like 65 point armor. And that, that, that like doubles their effective hit points, so... And they have shields, they have overall like better stats, they, as you can see, they have dodge. So this is gonna be fun. If he didn't get stuck here because of the dog, I would really like to move to the high ground. And I think I'll try to do it somehow. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I will try to kill the dog with the with the sling. Fortify, please. Nope. Nope. Go to the high ground in that case. Wait. Come on. Oh, it's only 26. Well, that's not happening. Really? Am I gonna get stuck in this position? Because of a dog? Thinking about Spearwall. 
Not here. What's the chance? That's not bad. Well, I might want... Uh, only 38. Okay, let's... Oh, he only has a buckler. He doesn't have a uh, proper shield. Okay, let's go after him. What are you? You are... Rebel poachers. Okay, and this guy is normal poacher. No, it's also a rebel poacher. Great, he didn't even kill the dog. And this is the stuff that I want. I talked about that, I think, last time? Did I talk about it? I think I did. Mm. Should I move here and do a spear wall? Then the problem is if they get through, which they probably will, I uh, will be split away from the rest. Maybe I'm just thinking about this too much and it won't be that difficult, but... Uh. Okay, so we're just gonna knock him back, I think. Let's try, come on. Well, we hit the two previous shots, so... I guess we are where we are supposed to be with the number of hits. And there goes the shield wall. 18%. Whoa. At least the dog is dead. We may need some help here. So, do we knock him back or do we go for 40%? 40% isn't that bad. Um, Knockback is 55. I think I'm gonna try it, just go through the shield wall. Oh, that was nice. That's what we were hoping for. Uh, get the headshot. You have no armor, guys. So let's try to kill them. Uh, with this, I'm trying to work on the morale of the, of the thugs. It shouldn't be that high. They are just thugs after all. Hit him. Hold the line. And if you could just decapitate him, that would be amazing. And does this work exactly? Let's take him go and decapitate the target on the spot. Does more damage to uh, hit points the more the target is already wounded. He's very wounded. The target will always decapitate it. Okay, so we probably want to go with this. And miss both. Or actually, we didn't miss, he blocked it. Oh, good job. Now. That's tempting. No, it's not tempting. The chance to hit is too low. 49. Should I go with aimed 68? I think I'll go with 68. Good. Problem is it's not affecting their morale. I was really hoping that two kills would be enough to already see at least some effect. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Four or one, two, three, four. Mm, we would just knock him back. Okay, let's go spear wall. I just wanted to make sure he can't get like here. Wait. I need this guy to come closer. But he won't. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's not the guy that I wanted to. Uh, panic. We could jump back. To reinforce this side, but then this guy could go up. What if I just wait? Okay, good. That's, that was actually amazing. So this guy, we can let him run. And instead start working on this one. Come on, it's 60% and it's still not enough. Please don't hit. Ah, that was fine. 60. Good. Ow. 40. Let's finish him off. No. Let's finish him off. One, two, 
two, three. I could be really greedy and go after the poacher, but I think that would be stupid. I want to stay here to have at least some protection from these shots. It's still blocking line of fire this way. And who's next? 33, 34. I guess I will be greedy in this case. Miss everything anyway. It's okay. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Guys, the range support. Oh, almost that enough damage. If I move here, I won't be able to attack. Hmm. Let's move here and try. Useless. How are you not bleeding? You... Oh, hey, he recovered. I should probably attack here then. I can't do shield wall. That's unfortunate. 66. Okay, let's just do it. Let's go with 66. I hope that we don't get hit to the head again. Oh, he's also tired. Nice. Move. Miss. So far, 100% attacks missed. That's the first effect. Okay, he is done. You can just let him bleed out. That's also pretty good. Ow. Come on. Not quite enough. 39, 52, 63. Let's go, 63. Nope. Mm, don't care about this guy. Nice. There we go, now he runs away, it's just rebel, so we don't care, and it's over. That was much easier, so much easier than I expected. But it's also because um, half of them were basically useless, right? If it was um, not uh, three uh, rebel poachers... But instead we had... How many was that? It was 10 in there. So technically this could have been 10, um, 10 thugs. And in that case we would be so screwed. But look at the loot. Actually usable items. 65 point armor. Uh, the spears, we, we have enough of those so we can get rid of that. We have a sword that potentially we could keep. And we did get the tip, tip stuff, that's the, how it's called. And three shields, all that we can use. But, well, the money, food, tools and supplies, that's not that great. And the helmet. Well, helmet, the hood. Okay, that was... That was much faster and much easier, as I said, so we can we can keep going. And on top of that, we get stuff spins. Plus three melee skill, plus six initiative, and... And... Plus four hit points. It's, it feels weird. It's a bad... No, it's actually not a bad roll. This is a guaranteed plus four. But going hit points for someone who doesn't have um, Colossus. Very tempted to just go stamina. 
even though it's a bad roll compared to these two. 59. Let's cancel that. Let me look at the staff. Yeah, it has range 2. We don't want to be in the front line with it. Do we have access to disengage or disengage footwork? We do. We need more people for the front line. Okay, at this point there is no excuse. How does it look like with the defense? It actually is pretty good. 12 to 12, what is it? 28? Oh, can we actually stay in the front line like this? I think for now it's actually, actually good. Let's compare it to the shield. We were at 27, so it's even higher defense, wow. I'm impressed. And I uh, just don't have anyone who could use the, the hood blade. I have to give you a shield. Okay, and here we are doing uh, Wait, what if I did that? How is it going to look like? Oh, uh, no, that's bad. I can't leave this flank exposed. We need one more person. Because then... We can do... This... No, I'm not taking two hit points. There's just no way. Even the plus three initiative feels really bad. Oh, 44 resolve because of um, trades, so don't think we need more. Okay. And you will have the polearm eventually, once we get the, the, the eighth person that's going to sit here, protect the flank, protect our squishies. And in this position, it's safe enough to have the uh, hooked blade equipped. So we are getting there. We have an upgrade for the spear. We don't need the spear in this spot. Isn't the sword more damage? Yes, it is. Not quite as defensive, but as I said, this spot does not have to be defensive. This looks okay. So your defense 10, your defense is 14. Okay, so, so you are staying in the front. It's funny that the person without the shield actually has the highest defense, I, th I think. Well, except the, the pure tank. Cool. That was a lot of talking about nothing. Let's get our money. Uh, the problem is we are over 2000. So unless we buy something, we're going to lose it. Or lose half of it. I have this offensive merchant. I forgot. Blah, blah, blah. 
I don't uh, don't think I want to sell anything. Or oh, I'm gonna sell these two. I didn't want to sell anything because I didn't want to get more money. But how much is it? Uh, let's organize everything. Eighty-four. Let's sell that. And now, is there anything that will be worth buying that's over 119 gold? How are we doing on helmets? 45. That's more or less the same thing as everyone else has. Do we want to buy like no, that's that's waste of waste of money buying uh, supplies. Any kind of supplies. Which I think about buying this. Just fixing it and it's probably gonna be an upgrade as a base for someone and um, it's more or less exactly what we need. We are now 30 gold under 2000. What the hell is this? Ancient cloth. Is that... What the hell? I thought there was a layer, but it's not. This would be also an option, but 149 for 10 points. That's not good enough. Oh, and we have that 65 point... A layer. If only I remembered the numbers. This one is 55, I'm pretty sure. Mm, this one is 65. Equip that. This should be, yeah, that's still 100 points. Although at this point, 55 and... No, it's not better. This would be better by 5 points, but we would have to fix it. What about you, 65? This is 55, but again, we would have to fix that. Uh, you could get a better helmet, though. We are not fixing this one. Yep, this one can be salvaged. I could even give the orders to fix it here, actually. Repair, repair, repair. I think we'll just save one shield. And this is to be salvaged, salvaged, salvaged. Okay. Now we can keep going. Or if we set a, set up a camp, just for two hours, two takes there. Because I think the gear that we are currently wearing should have priority with the repairs. And in case we run into something along the way, I want to be ready to fight. Though during the night you won't see anything. I was hoping that maybe there, there could be some like group of random rebel that we could kill along the way. Okay, the timing should be perfect. Quests. Give me something good. Uh, Goldstein. We don't want to go north. Definitely not that far north. So that's a pass. And I'm pretty sure here we would be facing raiders. So that's a pass. Unfortunately. What about some new people? This looks interesting. Uh, this guy is a little bit too expensive. What else do we have? 
apprentice. We don't want that. Butcher. That's an expensive militia. He's level two. No, we need the level one militia that starts with basically no gear. So that we could um, hire him for like, I don't know, 450, something like that. We could check the butcher. Daggers, cleavers, throwing weapons. Not exactly the combination I'm looking for though. He's starting with his own cleaver. So once again, I mean, if he's good, then we, we can spend 57 gold. Oh, hello. Dexter's is great. Do you have Colossus? You do. We just copied the build that we are already using. I really wanted someone with a flail, but... I don't think there is a background that would have some flail specific perks. I don't think that's even in the game. Or there actually might be, but it's like two-handed flails. The most basic ones. Or am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. Okay. 61 starting melee skill is okay. 61 hit points is great. 39 resolve possible. I would say that's a good recruit. Let's get rid of that. That will have to be fixed quickly. And you will have the cleaver. You'll have the fixed shield. And you'll have the fixed helmet. Oh, your starting defense is garbage, but uh, with two stars, that is something we can fix. Then you're gonna stand here. We don't need the person with the uh, with the spear in this position. It would be nice, but it's, it's not necessary. And I want spears here and here, so we are not using the sword because we are using this. I could technically keep this in offhand and um, if we get into trouble and Rickhard gets into like proper melee combat we just switch. That could work. For now we don't need to give it to anyone else. We don't have to uh, have it in the inventory and we probably should have the option because we have minus five melee defense. So if someone gets to Rickhard it that will be a problem. Okay, cool. This doesn't have layers. This can have layers, so let's use the one that we have. And I think they changed Butcher's Aprons, because if I remember correctly, when I played the previous series, the butcher's aprons might have been the best basis and not unique. They had some crazy ratio. Maybe I'm misremembering things. Uh, but there was one base that like looked horrible, but when when you check the numbers properly, it actually had the best ratio. Uh, it might have been this one, but now it doesn't seem that great anymore. Okay. Leave. Leave. Uh, do we want to go to Mosburg? At this point, it's dawn. We could maybe do some exploring. With eight people, I feel a little bit more confident. How long would the repairs take? Uh, it is a while. Go away. Don't want any events that could lead to bad things. Time to get moving. Still didn't spend that much time. Yeah, let's do some exploring. I don't really want to go into the swamp. There is probably something here. It might be the forest though. But it's so much easier to explore the grassland. I'm just gonna climb the hill, have a look around. 
If you could find some random groups running around, it would probably be the best. Yeah, this is like the worst. I'm 99% certain this is um, brigands, but it could be raiders in there. Huh. Let's go around the swamp. Now when we are here, may as well reveal a little bit more of the map. Oh, hello. Someone we can kill, perhaps? I will follow you to the end of the world and there you will give me your money. Not exactly where I wanted to go to be honest, but okay. We will follow the prey anywhere it goes. And watch what's going to happen. When we find it, it's it's going to be already fighting some uh, random group of, of militia from the nearest town. Although we are pretty... No, no, no. Don't tell me that it really happened. Uh, someone kill me. That was an effective use of our time, wasn't it? So what's the fastest way to now get to Awenba? Oh, what was that? What was that? I was drowning in my sorrow and I wasn't paying attention. Was it the last guy from the pack that we were following or was it something else that gave us the sound? Oh, there they are. That was my money. I don't think we can attack this, these guys to take that loot away from them. But I just knew this would happen. It was just the moment we were like here, I knew that it's going to happen. And by the way, if you are laughing now, this is not funny. Just wasted a day. Can we go this way? I would like to know if there is maybe a brigand camp. There probably could be. We've already wasted some time, so if we waste two or three extra hours, it's okay. Nope. Uh, give me something good, please. Krakendorf South East. Where is Krakendorf? Krakendorf is this one. Yeah, that's too far. Let's keep going. Dunkelwald next. I should have just turned around. I saw that the tracks were not fresh. But I thought that we were a little bit closer and also was hoping that they would just turn around at some point and we would run into them or they would slow like just sit there for a while. Sometimes these random groups do it that they just stop for a while, do nothing. Uh, I'm down. Yeah, we are not doing that one. How are we doing food wise? Probably should buy more. Hmm. Let's buy that. The prices are not great. Let's buy that. 52 is enough for three days. Yeah. Maybe. No, that's enough. Okay, if I let the AI go to Hirschmark, it's gonna be this way. 
Do I want to explore up here? Probably not. Because again, if you find the, the uh, a camp, most likely we won't be able to attack. Because the camps, when it's not a quest, they are actually pretty strong. And at this point, I think it's like guaranteed that there will be raiders. So let's just let's just follow the the plan and keep doing contracts. Oh come on! All in mark. Do you want me to go back for seventy gold? That's not happening. <laughs> Can't recruit anyone. It's even more expensive the food here, so let's buy at least the fresh meat. It's not not so fresh though. Come on, give me one fight along the way. I'm thinking about attacking this thing. Of course, the timing is horrible for that. I'm hoping that maybe we could get a contract. It's pretty close, so I think the village should like see it and want to remove it. Is that what I think it is? Cemetery of Old. Cemetery of Old. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna make a cut here. We're gonna leave the contract for the next episode. I was really hoping to do uh, one more fight in this episode, but yeah, this happened down here. So I tried. If we go to the cemetery, we won't see the garrison anyway. I'm hoping it's just gonna be basic zombies without a necromancer. It could be Nasseris, uh, then it would depend on the numbers. But um, we are a bit more capable at this point. Most of us. We have decent, actually, branch support. Oh, for, uh, for Brunison. We need next level, desperately, to get the uh, event reader. That's gonna be so good. It's one third of range defense, so it's plus 15 to range skill. It's gonna be more than 15 because we also get points next time. It's gonna be 90 range skill for her. Suddenly, we'll be able to reliably hit stuff. But well, as I said, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.